Now let us see this concept. You express the Boolean function as a sum of min terms. Here this function is given a plus b bar c. Min term means the term should contain all the variables. But if we consider the first two term, b and c are missing. Whereas if we consider the second term, a is missing. So now we have to represent this expression as a sum of min terms. Or obtain canonical SOP or standard SOP from the Boolean function. Canonical SOP or standard SOP means each min term. Uh, it contains uh, a sum of min terms. Each min term should contain all the variables or literals. We know that the first term in the first term B and C are missing. In the second term A is missing. Or convert general SOP. SOP into canonical or standard SOP. So this function is in the form of SOP, sum of products. So we need to convert this one into canonical SOP. So here this is the function f of a comma b comma c equal to a plus b bar c. Here in the first term b and c are missing. So in order to obtain that what we have to do is we have to multiply a with 1 and 1. The first one for getting b, the second one for getting c. We have a formula called a into 1 equal to a. Plus in the second term a is missing. In order to obtain A, let us multiply B bar C with 1. So, A into 1 equal to A or 1 into A equal to A only. So, the result won't change if we multiply a term with 1. Okay. Uh, so, next, in order to get B, what we have to do is, uh, we have to replace 1 by actual variable and complement of that variable. We have a formula, A plus A bar equal to 1. So, b plus b bar equal to 1 only. Next, in uh, let us replace this 1 by c. Why? Because here b and c are missing. So, replace 1 by actual variable plus complement of that variable. Plus, in order to get a here, let us replace this 1 by a plus a bar. Actual variable plus complement of that variable. So, next we have b bar c. So, now let us perform the multiplication operation. So, let us multiply A with B and C. So, we will get A, B, C. Next, multiply A with B and C bar. So, we will get A, B, C bar. Next, multiply B bar with C and C bar. So, A into B bar into C means A into B bar C. Next, A, B bar, C bar. A, B bar, C bar plus plus next A into B bar C. A into B bar C plus A bar B bar C. A bar B bar C. A bar B bar C. Uh, now let us check whether any terms are repeating. Uh, A, B, C. A, B, C. We have A, B, C only once. Next A, B, C bar. A, B, C bar. A, B, C bar. We have only one term. Next A B bar C, A B bar C. Here we have two A B bar C. So we have a formula called A plus A is equal to A only. So let us write the term only once. So A B C plus A B C bar. Next we have two A B bar C. So let us write only once A B bar C. Next one A B bar C bar. Last one A bar B bar C. A B bar C. Uh, now, let us uh, uh, write these terms as min terms. We know uh, here let us write uh, a with the help of 1 and a bar with the help of 0. So, a means uh, 1 means actual variable, 0 means complement of that variable in order to get the min terms. So, a b c means triple 1, a b c, a b, a b means 1 1, whereas here we have c bar, c bar means 0, next a means 1, b bar means 0, 1 0 1. Next, 1 B bar C bar means 0, 0. Next, A bar B bar means 0, C means 1. So, how we can represent triple 1 in decimal notation? 7, 7. Here, all these are nothing but min terms. How we can represent min terms? With the help of small m. So, m 7 plus, how we can represent 110 in decimal notation? 
m6 next 101 means m uh, 4 to 1 m5 100 means m4 001 means m1 so we can write this as this is nothing but sum sum is represented with the help of sigma sigma represents summation so m means min term sigma m of what is the smaller value 1 so next is next highest 4 so 1 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 so in this way we can express boolean function as sum of min terms so these are the min terms okay